Welcome everyone, this is Kip from Kibowski Tutorials. Today, we're going to learn about particles, instancer, shatter, and rigid bodies. And we will use all of that to create an exercise. This is a three-part 3D tutorial, but take note that we're only going to explain the settings we'll run into in making our exercise. But feel free to comment your questions regarding our topics down below in the comment box. And I'm pretty sure that you guys are going to enjoy our exercise as well as I'm enjoying it. I'm so excited. Let's get started. So let's hover to our Maya. Let me close this one. So what we have here is a simple box without any dynamics, without any rigid bodies on it and, and uh, our ground and two objects. So we will make an effect that two objects or our objects will come out from the box and then fall to the ground. Okay, so in order for us to do that, we should create a particle. So to create a particle, head over to our menu set and dynamics and particles, create particles, emitter. So option box, let's make it a habit to reset settings almost always. So create setting. So press W to translate and put it inside the box. Alright, and then hit play. So we can see our particle. All right, this is our particle. So next, attribute editor. So emitter type, we're going to use Omni, but uh, for directional, the emitter will emit particles directionally, and in this surface, the emitter will emit particles on a surface as well as the curves and volume. And volume, uh, if you hit volume, you can easily translate it uh, it doesn't much differ from the Omni but for this tutorial this exercise we're going to use Omni and particles rate uh, rate particles per second this is the, the number of particles that the emitter emits per second so if we hit 5 so 5 particles will be emitted per second so that's the meaning of it so let's Change this back to 100. Go to your uh, outliner. You guys make it also a habit to always use your uh, outliner. Oh, I forgot to change it. Oh no, I uh, changed it already. Alright, let's ho get over to our channel box and let's try to find the bounce. 0.9 friction 0.2 self collided. Turn it on so that the particles will collide to each other and then ignore solver gravity so that our particles will have a gravity of its own. Alright. All right. As you can see, the particles are going downwards because of that ignore solver gravity. And then let's head over to our attribute editor and particle shape, um, shading, bunch particle render type means that is the uh, what our particle looks like so we can change it to points to spheres or multi streak but for this exercise we're going to use a blobby surface for the mid time all right there we go so um, this looks good but our problem is our particles are going through the box so we don't want we don't want that so select the box and mesh create passive collider so that the particles will collide to the box it won't go through all right there we go so we might as well put some passive collider into our ground also so so that it won't go through all right there we go next uh, as you can see there there are two objects here um, the purpose of these two objects are uh, is um, to replace our particles and that is called instancer so in order for us to do that let me scale this down a bit and then let me scale down all right so in order for us to do that we should select our two objects and then control select our particles and then go to our end particles instancer all right we can see it it's a, instantly that uh, our objects 
replaced our particles but the problem here is only one of our objects replaced our particle only the cylinder one so in order for us to to change that in order for us to our emitter to emit our two objects go to end particle in our outliner go to end particle shape go to um, let me guess go to add dynamic attributes hit general put a name but in my case I'm going to put custom index keyable per particle array and then add then hit close per particle array uh, look for your name look for your newly created name custom index right click create creation copy paste this one into this expression so what we are doing is we're creating a random expression rand means random open and close parenthesis zero this um, emitter will emit a particles a random particle from zero to two this two means um, our two objects that uh, the emitter will emit so open close so for example we have five objects so I should put a five here so that's basically what this means this expression so hit create and then close then go to your instancer world uh, object index set it to your uh, custom name custom index for, uh, for me and then go to your rotation so that uh, our particles will have a rotation and then rotation options rotation then look for rotation PP so, uh, there, you go. there you go let me scale this down a bit all right there you go we're almost finished go to your um, particle and go to your shading and then blobby surface make it uh, change it to points all right there we go we're almost done we're almost done so bring out our hyper shade and I'm going to change this one to a yellow this one to red all right it close all right all right all right last one so we should be creating a no uh, we should be animating our emitter so what we can do is uh, select the end particle go to your emitter and then we're going to animate our particle using the rate particles per second so um, let's just say that uh, let me find a good animation here let's just say that by um, 150th frame uh, the objects that is uh, falling down will stop so set it to 100 and then right click set key and then uh, by 170th frame it will stop so just key in zero so let's see if that it's gonna work out all right so uh, what we have learned uh, in this part one tutorial is uh, the particles and instancer so the, th the second part um, we're gonna learn about rigid bodies and of course we're going to use that two topics together in order for us to create an exercise so be sure to uh, watch the second part and if you learn something don't forget to hit the like button or or not or don't thank you thank you for watching so see ya